Hey everybody, it's Glenn, back in this video and following my customising action figures 101 with an introduction to sculpting. So in sculpting for customising action figures, you'll need one type of clay, it's called epoxy clay, sometimes also referred to as epoxy putty. It's the yellow stuff you see sculpted on this Hulk figure, which I'm currently customising. Then there are a plethora of different brands of epoxy clay, many in different colours and every customiser has their own preference and if you have a brand you love using it mention it in the comments below. The question I'm often asked is which brand do I use and it's this one Milliput. I have also used Avis Studios epoxy clay which is a bit softer than Milliput so might be better for the beginner but Milliput is the cheapest and easiest available to me which leads me on to another popular question I'm asked is where do I get it and my answer is I don't know I'm not Google. I mean, I know where I get it, but I live in Scotland in the UK. If you live in Bumfuck, Cancellor Homer, I couldn't say. You're going to have to use your own initiative, but the best bet is your local art and craft supply store or probably cheaper still source it online. So epoxy clay comes in two parts that you need to mix together in equal parts. And I stress the word mix and equal, as if you don't mix them together thoroughly, the clay won't set. And if you don't mix the two parts in equal parts, again, the clay won't set. So just judge by eye the equal parts of each. Once mixed, you will have about an hour of working time. So as to how much you mix, you need to anticipate what you need to sculpt and how much you can sculpt in that time. You'll see the two parts are differently colored. So when you need the parts in your hands, you'll see the clay become streaky. I mix it by rolling it and then doubling it back on itself and twist and rolling again repeating until the clay becomes non-streaky and one single uniform colour. I would say mix in for about five minutes. Done. Once mixed, the clay is soft and very adhesive. It will leave a sticky residue on any surface it touches. If you're working on your mother's antique Chippendale table, don't. If you've never sculpted before, then before you attempt customising any figure too precious, I would suggest practising on a figure, perhaps one from a dollar store, until you get a feel for the clay. As the epoxy clay sets, it becomes more rubbery and less tacky. And once mixed, I usually leave it for 10 minutes, go wash my hands, and that just takes the edge off the initial stickiness of the clay. So today's sacrifice to the customising gods is poor King Kong Bundy. Andy don't look none too happy about it. Don't worry, Bundy, I is gonna make you beautiful. I'm going to sculpt the neckline of a wrestling singlet. So I'm going to roll some epoxy clay in my hand and I have a jar of water here and I'm wetting my finger as the water makes the clay easier to manipulate and prevents it from sticking to my finger. Of course, before applying the clay, you want to make sure the figure is dust free and clean of any grease as dust and grease will prevent the clay from adhering. So I'm laying the clay along where I want the neckline to be. For sculpting tools, I use toothpicks. They're cheap and disposable. I mean, you could buy a lot of expensive sculpting tools, but then you'd need a regime of cleaning them. And as this clay sets as hard as rock, tools can get messed up pretty easily. Using the toothpick, I'm massaging the epoxy clay down, bringing it flush with the body of the figure, and I'm regularly dipping the toothpick in my jar of water, as it makes it much easier to manipulate the clay and prevents it from sticking to the toothpick. So to even up the neckline of the singlet, I'm gonna place some epoxy clay in the recess behind the figure's collarbone. So I've just got a very small piece of epoxy clay. I'm gonna replace that there. And then dipping my toothpick in water, I'm gonna smooth that into the recess. And then do the same with that recess behind the collarbone on his left side. I'm constantly dipping my toothpick in water or the epoxy clay will adhere to the toothpick. Then I'm smoothing the surface of the clay with my wet finger. So the back piece I'm applying, I'll connect that to one side. I'm just gonna cut away the excess there. 
as on the front I'm just slowly manipulating the clay to bring it flush with the body of the figure regularly dipping my toothpick into water to make sure the clay doesn't adhere to it and depending on temperature it will become rock hard in two hours or so if I need to work the sculpted area for instance sanding it I usually wait until the next day and sanding will just give it that extra smoothness I usually start sanding with a medium grade sandpaper and go over with a finer grade sandpaper to make it nice and smooth and then I use my mother's makeup brush to dust off and then go sneak it back before she notices to find out exactly what the figure I worked on this video will become, stay tuned to my channel for my next video to find out. I hope this video has helped you in your own customizing projects. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Please comment, rate, share and subscribe and check out the description beneath this video for links to my Facebook and Twitter. Click those links and connect with me there too. Bye.